Hello YouTube, this is C in Maritime History, and tonight, for my last video, I try to make more views right now, I realize that's crazy, but I want to get the channel subscriber count up a little bit, and the YouTube algorithm going, which typically when I post them once every like two weeks, it flows really slowly. So I thought I'd do like a short little video on this ship I found when I was scrolling through a list of ocean liners. The MV Bloemfontein Castle. The MV Bloem Fontaine Castle was a passenger liner. She was launched at historic Harlan Wolf's Yard at Belfast. The reason I said historic was pretty much almost every ship that I covered from White Star was launched at Harlan and Wolf at Belfast on August 29th, 5th, 1949 by Mrs. Leif Egeland, wife of the High Commissioner for the Union of South Africa and London. She was completed on March 25th, 1950. The Union Castle Line's intermediate service to South and East Africa, she was the first one-class ship. She took her name after the town of Bloemfontein, capital of the Orange Free State. The Bloemfontein Castle was given the familiar Union Castle profile of a well-raked rounded stem, cruiser stern, a low streamlined funnel, and a single mast behind the bridge, giving a well-balanced appearance. There were two hatches forward and three aft, served by six ton, six ten ton, and four five ton capacity derricks. Cargo twin deck pieces were in insulated for the carriage of fruit with certain compartments for children frozen produce. The Blown Fontaine Castle was the first intermediate line to be built since the war ended, and the institution of a single class tourist was an innovation for Union Castle. She was built to cater for an expected immigrant boom and to alleviate the still considerable pressure at the time for accommodation and lower range fares. The main public rooms on the promenade deck, a large lounge being extended the whole length width of the ship, so there were no passageways either side. After this was a combined library and writing room connected by a long gallery to a commodity commodious smoking room. On the upper deck, a dining room for 386 also extended the width of the ship. Accommodation for 739 passengers was spread through seven decks. Some 250 of Union Castle staff were invited for the shakedown cruise made for London in March 1950. She left London on her maiden voyage on April 6, 1950. Sailing the London, Rotterdam, Las Palmas, Ascension, St. Helena, Walvis Bay, Cape Town, Port Elizabeth, East London, Durban, Lorenco Marquis, Mar Bay Railroad that she alone served. She sometimes called herself Hampton Homewards during the busy fruit season. On January 8, 1953, Bloem Fontaine Castle rescued 234 passengers and crew from the Holland Africa liner Clip Fontaine, which was sinking after hitting a submerged object after off Mozambique. Captain J. A. Ferguson and his senior officers later received commemorative gifts from the Holland Africa line. When the expected flow of European immigrants to South Africa did not materialize, Bloem Fontaine Castle was sold to the Greek Chandris Lines. I don't know why, it seems like every failure ship gets sold to the Chandris Line. SS America, for example, Achille Laurel was sold to the Chandris Lines at one point in time. After a short life of only nine years at Union Castle, the name Patras and refitted in just three weeks for Chandris Line service from Europe and Australia, the ship was the first large liner in the Chan Chandris, Chandris fleet. However, this wouldn't last for long because of you know, the America and the Achille Laurel. After Darwin was almost destroyed by Cyclone Tracy on Christmas Day in 1974, the Patras anchored in Darwin Harbor for nine months to provide emergency accommodation for those left homeless. In December 1975, Patras was refitted as a car ferry for the Adriatic Service. She was operated in the Chandra's brand from, Chandra, Chandra's brand from 1976 until 1979, connecting Venice and Ancona to Patras. In 1979, Chandra sold Patras to Caro Car Car Georgis Lines who first renamed her Mediterranean island the Mediterranean Star. I don't know what it is, but what is with ships ending with the, na with the word star in 1991? She was in safari until sold the Pakistani breakers in 1987. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this very short video. I know I don't typically make videos this short, but I decided since I saw it, it seemed interesting. I don't think we do videos about, you know, really, 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 really less known ocean liners, and this is quite less known. I've never heard of it before, until of course I made the video. But it has a, doesn't have much of a history, but I thought it would be cool to cover a small ocean liner. And, um, I hope you guys have a good day. Smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe, and leave a comment down below. Bye.